Monday through Thursday. So that's who you'll be working with. And this means fourth graders will be coming out for two days of programming. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, we have Lem Miss Lemkul and Miss Eastland's class. And then um, Wednesday, Thursday, it's Miss Leg. We have we'll be arriving out um, at Suez at eight in the morning doing cooperative compass. That's the one addition they wanted in lesson preps to for Monday. Tuesday we have uh, there's um, there's some there's an old lodge that you can take a look at and there's still lots of evidence. A great lesson to talk about adaptations. So um, bag lunches both of those days and Wednesday and lesson um, and beaver adaptations and tree ID. So uh, they are doing it a little bit differently than the other group, but. Um, Looks and Trina gets to digging up the past, so you get to do the hike out to the parsonage, which should I always love that part of the of the lesson. So I hope you enjoy it too. Hopefully there won't be any all week for you. Thursday, um, same kind of program, different people teaching, so you can see what's happening. We will end, and then Friday uh, we do have another school coming out here that Darcy, Linda, um, Jordan, and Ellen will be working with St. Stephen. So unfortunately, you won't be working chances to rehearse for that so you'll be ready to go. Your um, goal for next week is to personalize as you might be teaching. Maybe you've had an experience getting lost and you want to share that in your cooperative compass lesson. Um, it might be a little bit harder to come up with something for digging up the past or for the native fourth grade. Um, it doesn't have to be a fourth year or fourth grade uh, your memory, but somehow make a personal connection. And then I want you, when you make that personal connection with the students by sharing something, uh, it's going to make it more personal for them and they're going to be more relatable to the lesson. What were the things that you were learning? Who were your friends at that time? Put yourself in that fourth grade shoe so that you know the audience that you're going to be working with and, and what kind of story they're going to want to hear too. So that is the schedule for next week, and I would.